Now, satellite dishes have become increasingly popular for those who want to watch TV while you're away from some of the major Australian cities. You'll see them mounted on top of the RVs or perhaps on a stand on the ground beside your van. They'll allow you to pick up some of the free-to-air networks around Australia and even some of the international networks. Windows, doors and hatches can make a huge difference to your comfort level inside the RV as they can enhance the vehicle as well as providing light and ventilation. There's a good range available from plain glass with curtains and blinds through to high grade plastic tinted windows with integrated blinds and fly screens. Now generators have certainly become a popular addition for RV enthusiasts, particularly those who like to go bush and get away from mains power for any length of time. They come in a range of brands and power ratings according to how many appliances you plan to run off them. An inverter will turn your 12 volt AC battery power into ready to use 240 volts, ideal for powering items such as laptops, TVs and DVD players. For those with sleep apnea, it'll even run your CPAP. An inverter with higher wattage will run more devices. These devices run silently so you can use them in national parks, unlike a generator. Solar power is really about solar charging when used in an RV product. The sun shines on the panels and the energy is turned into 12 volt DC power which is stored in batteries. Alternative ways of charging the batteries is by 240 volts power through a charger or from your car's alternator via a voltage sensitive relay. This stops voltage going back to the car's battery and will only operate when your car battery is full. You could also use a generator. This can charge batteries while also powering up your van. Now, a word about solar panels. There are two main types, glass and polyplastic. The glass panels are quicker to react and will give higher amps for similar sized poly panels, but will stop on cloudy days and especially if a shadow falls across at any time. Polyplastic solar panels will work in cloudy conditions, but don't give out as much power as glass. Your first time in a caravan park is the start of a great adventure and it's quite easy as long as you know a few things, for example how to find your site, back into your site and plug into the various appliances. Once you arrive you'll be given your site number, a list of guidelines for the park and also some local tourist information. You'll need to take a 15 amp power lead, plug it into the caravan and unrod it properly so it's not coiled up anywhere and plug into your number power point and switch it on. Similarly, plug in all your water pipes and now you're ready to relax. Now if your RV is your home away from home, then an annex will be about the cheapest house extension you'll ever do. Begin with the draft skirt. Simply clip it on to the side of the van. It'll protect you from all those breezes. With the awning set in the patio position, that is the extension legs unclipped from the van and set straight down to the ground, attach the anti-flap bars, then slide in the side walls. Zip it all together and voila! There's a variety of different floorings you can get for out and around your van and your RV. This particular annex has a rubberized matting which will keep things tidy and won't kill the grass. Most caravans can be fitted with electric or manual awnings that are very easy to use. The awning creates excellent additional living space. And once it's up, you have arrived, and it's time to relax and enjoy your holiday.